Hi all my dear viewers. You could see water around me and I am at a beautiful location. In the early hours, you could hear the chirpings of birds and uh, wonderful fresh breeze. And with that freshness, I would like to uh, convey a message for all my viewers. Hope you take it in the right manner. Wow. So, it's great to see nature and uh, how it helps us in many ways. Imagine the life without air. Can we imagine? No, right? So, can we imagine the life without food? No, right? So, it's very tough to digest. And can we imagine the life without water? So, we can survive without food for some days and without water for uh, maybe some uh, few, a few days and uh, without air, we can survive a few minutes, I can suppose, okay, I can understand. So, what I, uh, maybe as a nature's lover and uh, giving training on uh, life related aspects being the life coach and a motivational speaker and a certified soft skills trainer so i would like to include this topic through my video to all my uh, viewers because one thing we all should protect nowadays is our nature around us all life forms should be protected today i want to take one natural resource that is water chemically we term it as h2o two molecules of hydrogen and one molecule of oxygen and uh, it's very tough to digest that there could be world war in future for wa water so please let us try to minimize the usage of water wa uh, wastage and uh, try to uh, have that moral responsibility feel from within that this great resource of nature should be available or we should make it available for the generations to come and the interesting thing and twist and a twist of life is we never know the value of anything unless it becomes extinct so let us all be wise enough before anything becomes extinct let us be very very cautious and uh, maybe we can do uh, in s uh, small amounts maybe we can start the day at home uh, creating that awareness within ourselves and the people around us and you know wherever we travel so nowadays it's like awareness lot of awareness is needed for conserving the natural resource that is water and based on this water all other life forms are dependent including us right from the uh, primitive stages people used to make their uh, living near the water spot or near the uh, river area so nowadays we are uh, we are you know not able to find that fresh water pure water and i would like to emphasize that me being hyderabadi and Hyderabad is termed as once upon a time as the city of lakes but nowadays we could uh, see a few rivers or few water lakes itself so whenever we try to come to a water spot automatically it would be a refreshing experience so why don't we try to conserve such natural resources and uh, refresh ourselves and if you look at you know all the na other life forms like birds they try to come here and have that refreshing experiences so in simple i want to convey 
or it's a request a humble request from my side friends let us save water use water wisely and uh, no wastage and no and this is the high time where no excuse for wastage of water and whenever i look at a river or a sea i observe that in silence the animals or the life forms inside the water they are expressing their anguish for example we try to dump all the unwanted things including uh, maybe like glass items or uh, harmful chemicals uh, or needles or uh, iron items where they are able to consume especially plastic and finally it is getting accumulated in a water resource so uh, that is affecting the aquatic life and that anguish is not uh, and if they are in uh, that disturbance or in that sad uh, vibration level it's not good for us so we should be sensitive enough so please let us be sensitive enough and we are all educated and uh, maybe at school level college level uh, information is there but information is of no use if it is not being implemented so let us all be wise enough and it's an individual responsibility if every individual starts doing it the whole world changes and we don't have any right to spoil the nature which we cannot create so at least let us try to leave this planet earth if not better at least at what level we found it when we are born and take it better to the generations to come so friends i hope you all understood the sensitivity and the seriousness behind the usage of water so we will be wise enough do our part and protect nature and take blessings from above god will be the happiest person ultimately we will be also happy and the people around us thank you so much for watching this video and uh, share your valuable feedback and uh, your feedback is much appreciated thank you all